hello guys and welcome to my channel and eve ng free course in this video i want to show you how to work with eve ng interface so at the first time when you install the eve ng software if you recall in the first video of eve ng free course we saw the installation of eve ng through the ova file on the vmware workstation in this video, we want to run a small scenario and also help you to get to know Eve NG interface. When you finish the Eve NG installation, we will see a window like this. So here you can see IP address of this software and we can see the IP is 10.1.1.13. If you recall, in the installation video, we get the EVNG IP address from DHCP server. Now we can log in into EVNG with a browser. Here it asks us for the user, which is admin, and the password is EV. And we'll click on to log in. For the first time, when we log in, because we did not build any lab, as you can see, the page is empty like this. We can create folders here and build our lab in these folders. So we're going to add a lab. Here, I select the name, which is lab1, and select the version, and we'll click on the save button. We have a side menu where all the management items are located. Today we will create a basic and simple scenario to show you the basic of how to work with this strong simulator. We'll click on add an object. And now here is our Eve NG full pack images. Here you can click on download. And here you can click on shop now. This is the great Eve NG, which is included more than 30 popular and great images that you can practice CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. So here when you pay, you will access to the 17 gigabyte of Eve community VMDK file and you can import it like the instruction here and you can start practicing without wasting your time configuring your Eve NG and pay hundreds of dollars for CCNA and CCMP and thousand dollars for CCIE to access all the images that you want. And here is the full video about two minutes. You can learn how to import this VMDK file to your uh, VMware workstation or player or your ESXi and start practicing your CCNA and CCNP and CCIE. And up here, you can see the list of images that included to this VMDK Eve NG file. Here you can click on this image to see it in the full screen or of course you can download it from here here as you can see we have asa with its uh, version csr 100 as you can see with its uh, username and password and the structure here and next is 9k which is a great appliance to practice a data center certification and this is acs ise ips as you can see and vwlc as you can see here UCS and 3PAL HP, Huawei USG and Firepower, Juniper, FortiGate, F5 and the rest of them as you can see. Even you have OpenE software defined storage, you can make the complex lab with these images and you will have the Windows appliance and Linux and ESXi and the rest of them as you can see. That means when you buy this product you will have all the images inside this eve ng full pack image 
and you don't need to pay hundred or thousand dollars for these images and one of the frequently asked question from me is it possible to download all the images from this EVNG full pack to your computer yes it's possible you should go to the exact directory on your EVNG and you will see all the images chemo files and IOS's in this EVNG full pack image and here you can simply click on add to basket and you can click on view and purge this software which is great for you and you don't need to waste your time as you know uh, configuring eve ng is very hard and on the other hand you should pay hundred or thousand dollars to pay for the images but you only pay this price and you will have immediate access to this eve ng full pack image without any expiration as it is community version and you can upgrade it to the pro version with all the images available that you have inside this full pack which is great pack you can now download and start practicing ccna ccmp and ccie and you don't need waste your time to learn eve ng how to import images how to configure them and you don't need to take a time again to configure eve ng here you can see the equipment that you can have on eve software which is a range of most important and famous equipment like Cisco, Juniper, FortiGate and the rest of them. And keep in mind, you cannot select these devices until you import or upload the images for these devices and they will remain in gray if you don't upload the images and appliances. So after the initial installation, the only device is available is VPCS or virtual PC so later on in the next videos I will show you how to add images and appliances to upload and start using them in your lab scenario so in these simple scenarios we will use VPC devices and here we'll add the number of VPC well we need two nodes of course we have to enter to here and we'll leave the rest of the items to default and we'll hit the save button you can see that two vpc have been added to my lab and i can put them anywhere on this page and as you can see when i hold the cursor on the device we can see the options to connect to other nodes here if i click on it i can connect it to my other equipment here we'll specify that we connect ETH0 VPC1 to ETH0 VPC2, which it will create a network connection for these two devices. After saving, we notice that a link has been added between the two devices by default by adding a node to the scenario. The device is turned off and we should right click and power on our devices in our scenario so we'll start them both we now have two pcs that are connected and turned on with a network connection i want to establish an ip connection between these two pcs to connect and configure pcs just click on them to see their command line environment and we'll have a pop-up window to party software this is for VPC1 and we'll open up the command line to the VPC2. I can give them an IP with the IP command and we'll press enter. So we'll give a VPC1 the IP address of 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 and the second is 10.10.10.20 slash 24 bit mask. Well, now I want to check the connection. I try to ping VPC2 with IP 10.10.10.20 .10 .10 and you see that it's connected. And also from VPC2, I will ping VPC1, which is 10.10.10.10. So you can see that this connection has been established as well. This is the simplest scenario we can run in the EVE simulator. 
Well, today we learned how to run a simple scenario and got a little familiar with the Eve interface. In the next video, we'll learn how to add images and appliances to our scenario. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification, and like the video, and please comment below if you have any question. I will answer your questions very quickly.